Hi, this is Ryan Bisey, and you asked for it. I asked if you wanted me to review the Galactic Heroes Ghost Vehicle, and many of you said yes, review it, and best of all, nobody said no. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Ghost Vehicle. I was able to pick this up for about $14 at a Ross recently. Um, I'd been wanting to pick it up, but I didn't want to pay too much for it, so getting a good deal on it was definitely worthwhile. Let's take a look. So it comes in this open display box. We can see we've got two Galactic Heroes figures of Chopper and Ezra. The vehicle itself, some firing missiles, pieces that come off and can be attached. It calls it a two-in-one vehicle play set as well, which is something we went through with the Millennium Falcon. We look at the back and we can see all the different things that you can do with this. Um, I don't buy too many Galactic Heroes items. I have the Falcon, uh, a couple figures here and there, but not too much. But since Hasbro never gave us a ghost, I thought this was worth checking out. So here we are, we have it outside of its packaging. And we have our two figures to give you an idea on size wise. We take Ezra here. This is a regular Hasbro, so you get the idea of size difference. Now, for Chopper, it's actually a little bit bigger than the regular Hasbro Chopper, and still bigger still than the, the Disney Chopper here. But they're all about the same size, really. Uh, I guess if you couldn't get either one of these Choppers, this could fill in for you. It's pretty darn similar. Um, but if we get to the vehicle itself, it's got some interesting play features. So we have this gun and this arm, which we can actually detach. And on any one of these, any one of these slots, we can add it on. It's kind of hard to get one handed here. They don't necessarily stay there really well. They do pop off very easily. We do have uh, firing missiles. I'm not gonna fire them here for both the front and on the top. Just to give you an idea of detail on this, our engines in the back. I'll pop this off when I move around. And even some kind of landing gear on the bottom. Now we can open the cockpit here and pop this out. Just kind of as a mini rover type vehicle that we could use for play. And then this whole thing, this pops open for a play set. Now you've got different places to put like figures in here, the foot pegs, and underneath we have like these little sliders here which will move these back and forth. Nothing over here for this one. Uh, also we have this that pops open, kind of like a little jail cell or maybe cargo, something like that. Kind of a neat little feature. Probably not something that you're going to want to throw with your Hasbro figures. It's nice decals, although this one I really wondered why would the entire crew of the Ghost be on the view screen inside the Ghost, but whatever. The other cool thing is you can open up the back engines, so they made a Phantom vehicle as well, and it will slide on in here to connect with it. Of course, the engines stick way out kind of weirdly like that. But, I mean, that's the basic vehicle. There's some cool play features. Um, for most of us, probably not that big a deal, but I'm betting most, we want to see how's this, how would this work for Hasbro figures? So let's take a look at that. So we can put a Hasbro Ezra figure into this little thing, which I think we'll fit inside. Well, not quite. It's uh, definitely, I can't lean him back enough to, to get it in there and close the cockpit. So not quite working. But maybe as a display piece, let's see. I guess if you wanted to make it this a display piece with your Rebels crew, with the ghost behind it, maybe put it in a hanger of a diorama or something. If you did a hanger, I would assume you'd want to modify it with a little more paint. Um, maybe redo that top turret, something like that. It's not terrible. For $14, it's a good price. If you're just a regular Hasbro 3 and 3 quarter collector, probably not something to get unless you just absolutely have a ghost. Uh, otherwise, you know... This is about it. This is the biggest ghost for action figures that there is. There's a Lego ghost, which really wouldn't work for the Hasbro figures either. But um, this is about it. Unless Hasbro finally makes one, which with Rebels Season 4 um, being our final season of Rebels, I kind of doubt we're going to get an, uh, a ghost in there at any time. Unless it plays some part in any of the future films or something. But... I guess it could kind of work if you really wanted to. I wouldn't pay the full price. The $14 at Ross seems about the right price. So thank you for watching this video for the review of the um, Galactic Heroes Ghost Vehicle. Um, like I said, probably something if you really love Rebels 
or you just want it as a background piece or you want to detail it up, something like that. doesn't really work with the action figures. Um, I've got a couple more reviews coming up, plus I have another mini episode where I'm going to go through Force Awakens and Rogue One 6-inch Hasbro Black Series figures that need to be made, that haven't been made yet. That should be coming out sometime this week. So until then, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video.